Hello, and welcome to the first edition of Lies, Damn Lies, and Air Purification Marketing Techniques. So I ran across this company a few months ago called Smart Air, and they were actually comparing a simple do-it-yourself fan with an inexpensive HEPA filter strapped to it to the IQ Air brand and acting like their cheap, simple $45 air purifier was just as good as the $900 to $1,200 units IQ Air manufacturers. Now, if you didn't know, IQ Air is one of the best air purification manufacturers in the entire world, and they've been engineering air purification solutions for over 50 years, okay? And I'd consider their Health Pro Plus air purifier to currently be one of the Mercedes-Benzes of the mass-produced air purification solutions on the market for particle filtration. So when I saw this smart air company comparing a simple cheap filter strapped to a fan to the IQ Air units, I knew I had to investigate it a little bit further as I initially thought I was possibly hallucinating. <laughs> I mean, I was like, what? Oh, I mean, what are these people doing? What are they talking about? So I'm going to critique one of their videos and point out some of the sneaky wording and inconsistencies they use in the video comparing the two brands and the ridiculous comparisons they make. I mean, by the end of this video, we will all very clearly be able to see that many air purification companies just talk a whole bunch of garbage, just hoping the unsuspecting masses don't catch on. Air purification marketing, as I've said before, is like the Wild West. Most of the solutions are not third-party tested, and almost any company can say they have HEPA air purifiers, regardless of whether or not they actually perform at a HEPA level. Unfortunately, many air purification companies these days take great liberties with their marketing and advertising campaigns, and it can be very confusing for the general public to know who is legit and who they can trust. So here's a comparison video Smart Air has on their website. And Thomas Talhelm is the founder of Smart Air, and he was in Beijing in 2013 when the air quality in many parts of China was absolutely horrible. And he decided to start an air purification company. Around this time, and for a few years after, I worked in an air quality dealer, and I sold thousands and thousands of IQ Air Health Pro Plus units to China, and the IQ Air Health Pro Plus unit was the only air purification solution the Chinese brokers wanted to import from us out of the 50 or more other air purification brands that we carried. They only wanted IQ Air Health Pro Plus units because they knew how great it was. And many Chinese hospitals had IQ Air Health Pro Plus units running in them. So here we go. So I decided to buy an air purifier to protect my health but I found the one I wanted cost $1,000. Okay, so this air purifier they are showing is the IQ Air GC multi-gas unit, but it is not IQ Air's flagship product. The overwhelmingly most popular IQ Air unit in China was the IQ Air Health Pro Plus, which I spoke about earlier, and it costs $899. So right off the bat, they are bringing IQ Air into the conversation for their comparison as they fully know IQ Air is one of the most respected air purification brands in the entire world. But they are showing us the more expensive GC unit, which is way less popular and does not filter particulates as well as the much more popular, less expensive Health Pro Plus. And 99% of my IQ Air sales were with the IQ Air Health Pro Plus. And they're just trying to use the more expensive GC unit for monetary shock value with the audience. Basically, they feel the more expensive the IQ Air unit, the better their cheap DIY solution will look. Most all other air purifier companies that try to compare their solutions to IQ Air will do so against the super popular Health Pro Plus. So these guys are just trying to sneak the more expensive GC unit into the video and I definitely consider this to be an underhanded marketing technique. And really, multiply that by two because I'd need one for the bedroom, one for the living room, add in replacement filters, and soon I'd be spending almost $3,000 just for clean air. Again, they're just trying to create a case for monetary sticker shock for viewers. So it made me wonder, what's in that magic box that costs $1,000? 
The answer is so simple, it only took me an afternoon of research to find out. So IQ Air had been manufacturing air purification solutions for over 30 years leading up to the creation of the Health Pro Plus. But Thomas says everything is very simple and he apparently figured it all out in just one afternoon. Do tell us, Thomas. Do tell. This should be good. See, the active ingredient in most air purifiers is a HEPA filter, the same thing that traps dust in vacuum cleaners. Then you have a fan to move air through that filter, and that's it. No, Thomas, that's not it. The vast majority of air purifiers have a pre-filter to prevent the HEPA filter from getting clogged. This is Air Purification 101, and everyone in the industry knows this. All the best air purification solutions on the market that I'm aware of have a pre-filter. Also, does this cheap HEPA filter look anything like the five inch thick IQ Air Health Pro Plus Hyper HEPA filter? Nope. And does this fan look anything like the fan in the Health Pro Plus either? Nope. We gotta understand, not all HEPA filters are the same, nor do they filter at the same levels. And not all fans are the same either, nor do they all work as efficiently or spread the air around the filters evenly in the same manner. There is such a thing as fan engineering, and some fans are much more effective and efficient than other simplistic fans. Thomas is comparing a simple cheap fan to the much better engineered IQ Air fans. It's kind of bizarre, actually. Also, he didn't mention that the GC unit he initially was doing his comparison on has 12 pounds of carbon. And the Health Pro Plus, which is the flagship product, has five pounds of carbon. He somehow left that part out. So when they went to this cutout of the IQ Air unit, they are now showing us a completely different IQ Air unit. They are showing the less popular, less expensive IQ Air Compact, which doesn't have any carbon in it. So this is actually a cutaway picture of the IQ Air Compact. And they specifically use this unit and its cutout picture for this part of their video because they didn't want to bring up the fact that their simple DIY filter doesn't possess any carbon. So it won't help with any VOCs or odors. And so they chose an IQ Air unit that looks somewhat similar to the Health Pro Plus and GC units, but it doesn't show any carbon in the cutaway picture. That is just straight up deceptive marketing and they should be ashamed of themselves as they're just trying to stay loyal to their original narrative. They are trying to take advantage of the fact that the vast majority of people who are not really familiar with the IQ Air product line won't really know the differences between these three particular units. So they just tried to sneak this by everyone. So now at this point, they're being 100% deceptive in how they're trying to compare their cheap DIY filter to the IQ Air product line. So then I thought, well, vacuum cleaners don't cost thousands of dollars, so why should air filters? Well, number one, IQ Air's flagship product, the Health Pro Plus, is $899. So it isn't thousands of dollars, as he says. It is almost $1,000, but he is exaggerating by saying they are thousands of dollars. And number two, actually, yes, there are many vacuum cleaners out there that cost over $1,000. Here are a few Mila vacuums that cost over $1,000. And here is the Nilfisk GM80, which is over $1,000. And here is the Nilfisk GD930, which is the vacuum I own. And it's not quite $1,000, but it ain't cheap. So you're looking at about $776 these days for the vacuum that I use, and it is third-party tested, so I do believe it actually performs at a HEPA level. Just like if you saw my video on HEPA air purifiers, where I gave 13 reasons why over 90% of the HEPA air purifiers on the market don't actually work at a HEPA level. The same is very possibly true when it comes to HEPA vacuums. I'd have to look into it more but it is very possible that many or most HEPA vacuums do not actually work at a HEPA level either. All that said, really good third-party tested vacuums that do work at a HEPA level can definitely cost over $1,000. My point is that when it comes to air filtration with a HEPA air purifier or a HEPA vacuum, we are going to sometimes get what we actually pay for. And I highly doubt a $103 HEPA vacuum from Walmart 
is going to filter as well as my third-party certified $700 GD930 HEPA vacuum. So I found a HEPA manufacturer, ordered a HEPA, and strapped it to a fan I had at home. So if we're doing a car comparison, he just created a 1970 Ford Maverick, while the IQ or Health Pro Plus product line would be considered a 2023 Mercedes-Benz. Yeah, they're both cars, they both use gas, they both have four tires and a steering wheel, but there are many, many, many differences between the two. Which would be considered the better car? Then every day I turned the fan on, and after four weeks, the HEPA was black. And after four weeks, the HEPA was black. Well, all HEPA filters will turn black when you push dirty air through them. Whether they are cheap, low-quality HEPA filters or expensive, high-quality ones, they are all going to change color, but it certainly does not mean a cheap HEPA filter will perform anywhere near as well as a more expensive, more advanced HEPA filter. Also, if you noticed, he didn't add a pre-filter to his amazing air purification solution. So what is a pre-filter for? The pre-filter takes out the larger particles to prevent the HEPA filter from getting clogged up. And by doing this, it enhances the performance of the HEPA filter and dramatically extends the lifespan of the HEPA filter as well. See? This is the iCure Health Pro Plus pre-filter. See how thick it is? It's a little over three inches thick or seven and a half centimeters. It catches a ton of larger particles, which prevents the HEPA filter from getting clogged. See, but Thomas knows better than to use a pre-filter because he did some research one afternoon and figured it all out by himself. At least he said he did. So what do we think will happen when we don't use a pre-filter? Well, the HEPA filter will get saturated with larger particles very quickly. And then a lot of the dirty air will eventually just shoot out the sides of the filter. A lot of the dirty air will literally just bounce off the saturated HEPA filter. And there are no real seals with this DIY solution. So it's like the inside of a cheap air purifier without the housing around it to prevent debris from escaping. And the lack of air purification housing around the fan and filter means the dirty air will just shoot everywhere the more saturated the HEPA filter gets. Also, they're using an H12 filter with the fan, which does not perform at a true HEPA level of 99.97% at 0.3 microns. It is listed on their site to only do 99.9%, while the IQR Hyper HEPA filter is listed to do 99.97% at 0.3 microns. So smart ear, so they're using an inferior filter from the start. Then I bought a laser particle counter to test if it was getting the really small particles like PM 2.5. Those are the ones that could penetrate deep into our lungs. I did some tests and I found it worked. He found that it worked. So he found that his DIY air purifier took out some of the larger particles in the air. And if you take a box fan and add some MER filters to it, it will also take out some of the larger particles in the room as well. And those box fan MER filter combinations have been used for many years now. So Thomas used a Dylos DC 1100 particle counter, which is about $300. And I also have one as well. And the EPA states that air particle counters less than $5,000 tend to be inaccurate, just for your knowledge. Also, PM 2.5 are not the most dangerous particles for humans. Ultrafine particles are the most dangerous particles for humans, and they are 0.1 to 0.003 microns in size. Now, the IQ or Health Pro Plus has been tested to filter 95% of all particles down to 0.003 microns, which is a fantastic level of filtration. How well do we think a simple, cheap, low quality HEPA filter strapped to a fan is gonna filter the ultrafine particles. Also, the Dylos DC 1100 monitor he is using only reads down to 0.5 microns, which is not even 0.3 microns. And as we know, HEPA filtration is 99.97% at 0.3 microns. So it's not even going down to 0.3 microns. And it's not telling us anything about the amount of ultrafine particle concentrations in the air. And the ultrafine particles 
are the most dangerous to humans, and they account for over 90% of all the airborne particles in the air we breathe. And the IQ or Health Pro Plus is one of the best mass-produced air purifiers on the market for filtering ultra-fine particles. But Thomas will not discuss any of these issues or variables as his DIY solution will mostly only filter some of the less dangerous, larger particles in the air. Then I went out and tested every fan I could find. And I found one strong fan where the results really blew me away. Then I tested the really expensive machines and I found that even my simple DIY kit was removing just as much particulate as the thousand dollar machine I'd wanted to buy. Now he's got a new graph and is showing a blue air unit and he is back to showing the more expensive, less popular IQ Air GC unit, which is not the best IQ Air solution for filtering particles. It has 12 pounds of carbon, so it is one of the best units on the market for taking VOCs and odors out of the air. But Thomas puts his cheap DIY filter right next to it in the graph and tries to show that his cheap DIY purifier apparently tests out almost as good as the $1,200 IQ Air GC unit. Again, he conducted the tests himself and we don't know any of the parameters or procedures or specifics on how the units were tested. We just have to trust that he did a good, accurate, unbiased job. And let me tell you, you have to leave the air purification testing to the professionals. Regular folks cannot do an accurate job of testing air purifiers for many reasons. They just can't. Testing air purification solutions must be left to the professionals who use state-of-the-art, expensive testing equipment and environments. Trust me on this. I've used the exact same Dylos DC 1100 unit he's using in these tests, and it told me air purifier A performed better than air purifier B in one room, and then in a separate room, the Dylos gave me the opposite results, saying air purifier B now is performing better than air purifier A. So it's not easy to accurately test air purification solutions, and it's not for amateur hour. You got to leave it to the professionals, and Thomas is not a professional air quality tester. So I started Smart Air, and since then, we've shipped that simple DIY purifier that I strapped together in my bedroom to over 15,000 people all over China. Well, that's just great. So 15,000 people all over China are definitely not getting any protection from harmful VOCs because your great DIY solution doesn't have any carbon. And they probably are getting very little protection from ultrafine particles as well. But many of them who can afford better air purification solutions won't ever seek them out because of the unethical ways that Thomas is marketing his DIY solution. So many of these customers actually think they have as good an air purification solution as money can buy. Now that's just straight up unethical and dangerous. With your support, I can manufacture the first batch of these new purifiers. And we can create a new space in the air purifier market. And we can make clean air affordable for thousands of people. So Thomas talks about how he's all about simple inexpensive air purification solutions that work just as well as the $899 and up IQ Air world-class elite air purifiers. But yet, on his website, he is now trying to sell an air purifier called The Blast that retails for $1,079. Yes, Smart Air, after all that talk about cheap DIY air purifiers, being just as good as the $1,000 IQ Air units, they themselves are now trying to sell an air purifier that is even more expensive than the IQ Air Health Pro Plus, $180 more than the Elite IQ Air Health Pro Plus. So what happened to the whole what's in the magic box? All you need is a simple HEPA filter and fan and you don't need expensive air purifiers. What happened to that whole narrative that you've been selling people on? Where did that narrative go? I mean, didn't Thomas say it only took him one afternoon of research to figure out how to make an air purifier that is just as good as IQ Air for 97% less money? I mean, what happened to all of that? 
Where did that whole narrative go? <laughs> so just for your knowledge, the IQ or Health Pro Plus is EN1822 certified, which is considered in the industry to be a high level third party certification. That means it was tested by a third party testing agency that specializes in testing air purification solutions with expensive state of the art equipment. Some people think EN 1822 is currently the best or most stringent certification that an air purification solution can obtain. On the other hand, I asked Smart Air if their DIY fan and filter air purifier was third party tested and certified, and they said no. So Thomas is making all these claims and his cheap DIY solution was never even third party tested. This video comparing a cheap filter strapped to a cheap fan and saying it's as good as any of the three IQ Air products he showed in his video is an absolute joke. It's absolutely pathetic and it's disgusting that some people out there are actually going to believe this nonsense. You see, there are recent studies linking ultrafine particles to cancer, cardiovascular disease, autism, diabetes, Alzheimer's, and many more health issues. So this is not a topic that people should be messing around with. We are talking about some very serious issues here. And the IQ or Health Pro Plus has been third-party tested and proven to do a very good job of filtering out ultrafine particles. Thomas's filter and fan haven't even been third-party tested. So we can only imagine why. So for these reasons and many more, deceptive videos like this from Smart Air are just flat out dangerous for the general public. Click on this video here if you want a real good laugh. You're probably going to laugh your head off when I go over the online interaction I had with the Smart Air staff on the two units as they try to defend their indefensible, ridiculous position. One comparison they make in particular is absolutely mind-blowing. And you just got to see it to believe it. So click on this video here. Thank you.